Hi all, today I am going to show you how to filter data table that you have imported from Excel, PDF or HTML table and then export it to CSV or Excel. Hello everyone, my name is Hao Zhong. I'm here to help you to use Office Work tools such as Excel and Power Automate. If you think my videos are helpful, please help me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you. So this video, I'm assuming that you have already imported a table from Excel or a PDF or a HTML table. And then you are ready to filter uh, the table and to get your uh, values. So, this example, I have extracted data from map page. So you can see I have got my table uh, ready. So this is my uh, data table. All right. So this is a table that uh, you, you will need to uh, prepare uh, from your PDF or from your Excel or from your HTML table. All right. Then you can follow from steps number three to create a new data table. So new table would be uh, one row and two columns. So you go to edit, right? So you just put in the columns that you want to extract out from the HTML table. So for this instance is open source for me and then wiki software, right? So what you do is you just double click and then you just uh, type in the column name, right? You can, uh, this column name, you can be a different column name from the website. So what you do next is you need to delete row from data table. So you need to delete the first row, which is empty. Um, I couldn't delete it from the create new tab data table. So I have inserted this step as additional step. This is uh, a bit annoying. So data table is data table, row index is zero, right? Essentially, what it will do is, it will delete this blank row, I, which I couldn't delete. So if you know how to delete this blank row in here, let, just let me know in the comments below. Right. So then you use for each current item in data from map page. Right. This will iterate um, the data row in the data table. Right. It will go what from uh, from top to bottom. So if you click on here, data from web page, click on the triple dot you view, right? You can see the list of um, table. Sorry, I mean the table from the web page, right? So, so when you say for each current item in data from web page, right? It will go to each uh, row right on this table and then find the value here so so i will show you how to find the value later and then uh, extract out the wiki software so first you need to set variable first so set variable then you put a percentage current item then you put the column and uh, name from the table, All right? This column will have the yes and no's, All right? And remember to put a inverted comma, right? And then put the column name and then close inverted comma. Then you put a if, right? So if open source, right, contains yes, and then uh, you can ignore the case. So if it's yes, 
you need a set variable you need to grab the wiki software name so you, in order to do that is you use percentage current item then the column name right which contains the data that you want then a percentage then you insert row into data table all right data table is data table into location will be end of data table and then this is very important you put in the percentage and then you put in the values right uh, corresponding to the column that you set up in the data table above right so you so you can uh, name whatever you want in the row in the column right but then when uh, power automate insert right it will insert accordingly to your position in this insert row into data table so if your data table starts with uh, soft wiki software then open source then it will actually uh, do it wrongly because it will insert open source into um, wiki software you put in the put the wiki software in the first column right so make sure that uh, it's all corresponding to the insert row into data table uh, however you can uh, rename whatever you want here right you can uh, rename to the columns that is more fitted to your purpose so, but just make sure the order is the right order so after all the if right you put in write to csv file so variable to write is the data table right which contains all the filtered value all right You need to put in the uh, location of the CMC file and one last thing uh, remember you need if you need to include column names just enable this right the rest you can leave it as default all right if you only need to extract to CSV file you can stop the video now and uh, please remember to like and subscribe the channel uh, I will sh show you now how to copy the table and paste into Excel. So you need to launch Excel with a blank document. Uh, everything you can leave it as default. So you write to Excel worksheet. Uh, what you write is the column header row, right? So it would be data table dot column header row, which you can find or type uh, you can find from here right column center row then you just select write mode on currently active cell so now you want to grab the next free row to paste the data table so you get first free row on column from excel worksheet excel instance is excel instance column is one variables produce is first free row on column then you have to activate cell so excel instance and excel instance then you activate absolutely specified cell column is one row will be the first free row on column then you write to excel worksheet excel instance is excel instance value to write is data table then write mode is on currently active cell then this one is to make your excel pretty so you can resize column rows in excel worksheet excel instance and excel instance resize target column selection range is all available resize type is auto fit then you save excel excel instance is excel instance save mode save document as uh, document format default and then you put the document path 
if I run it, it will be very quick. So it will open up the website. Right, it will go line by line to search for open source yes. Then you will get a value of the wiki software. And then you will paste um, the data in uh, Excel. So I hope this video has helped you. If this video helps you, please give the video a like and please remember to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much, everyone. Have a nice day. Bye bye.